this is a micrometer. It's used in the machine shop to do very accurate measurements, uh, usually within three decimal places. You can be fairly certain you can make an accurate measurement. This is your locking mechanism to lock it into place. This is a one inch micrometer so you can measure one inch inside your anvil and your pole. It works just the same same scale as uh, your dial calipers. So we're going to start at zero at this line. Make sure that it does snug up at zero. You don't have to turn these tight. They're 40 threads per inch on the inside here so you don't want to strip them out. Use the click to get it tight enough to make your measurement. So we're going to go off of the zero and our read line right here. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8, 9, 10,000. Now you can see the gap here. That's 10 thousandths of an inch gap. If we do full rotation, we've gone to 25,000. So there's 25 thousandths gap. And so on. You can put your part in. We'll measure this pencil. This pencil should be around a quarter of an inch. So we're going to go to 200. Each line inside 0, 1, 2, each mark inside of 0 to 1, 1 to 2 is 25 thousandths. That was our full revolution we did at the very beginning. So let's measure this pencil and see what we get. I'm just going to snug it. So we are at approximately block. We're at one. I'll take the pencil out since we locked it. So there's one hundred thou, two hundred thou. And we got one, two, three marks. So one hundred, two hundred, and twenty-five, fifty. 75. So we're at 275. Then we go to our circular dial. So you can see that there's zero here. It goes around. We're five and six. So 275 thou plus six is going to be 281 thou. That's how thick this pencil is. That's how I use a micrometer and just refer back to this video and keep looking at it. It's the only way to do it.